Hey Taurus, my fellow Tauruses, so I'm a Taurus Moon and a Taurus Venus. Um, always check your Sun, Moon, Rising and your Venus, especially in love readings. So I'm doing love today. Venus is uh, relevant in love and finances. It rules over, it governs over love and finances. So I will be doing the extenders. The link to my Vimeo will be in the description box below. Hit the arrow, drop the box down and it'll give you the link to my extenders. And also my Patreon page is going live today where you can find all of the extenders. So you can check all your Sun, Moon, Rising and your Venus, whichever placements resonate with you. Um, you can find them all on there. I'll also be doing more content on there. Um, going live on there as well, live streaming because I'm sick of the scammers to be honest on Facebook. Um, they seem to know when you're live and then that's it. They're sending friend requests to everybody, wanting readings and things, pretending to be me. So I'm trying to stop all that. Um, so Patreon will be live, you will have early access to certain readings like new moon readings, full moon readings. Um, I'll be doing the pick a decks and pick a card readings on there as well. So there'll be a lot more, I'll be working a lot more on Patreon. Uh, from now on so please like share subscribe um i'm trying to work with the algorithms on youtube and i'm not really clued up on technology um so please like if this if the reading resonates comment uh, i always get back to comments share if you think anyone is wanting to look at their own readings so i'm going to dive straight in taurus let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. So it's kind of go with the flow energy. Taurus, you might struggle with that. <laughs> What's crossing that? You deserve love. You are lovable. So your challenge is to actually kind of believe in that, that you deserve love. So I'm guessing that there's been like hurt in the past and there's been like self-love issues in the past. Um, it's time to go with the flow and allow things that are meant to you to kind of flow towards you and don't think too much into it. Oh, that flew. Why is it coming around? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So that's the energy of going with the flow though and allowing things to come to you. Because you are lovable. You need to believe that you are lovable. It's like the love arrows are being sent your way. So I like it. So in the recent past, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So I'm picking up though an element of um, you've needed support from other people. Maybe you've reached out to certain friends or... Um, through matters of like heartbreak and things like that so it does show that you've got like close friends a support network and they've had to be supportive in the past at present love yourself first it, yeah there's a lot of self-love energy in your reading your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so it's because you've got healthy boundaries and i feel like you've gone into that journey of self-love so what we put out, we get back. So if you're putting out, you know, I love myself, I respect myself, I've got healthy boundaries, you're only going to bring in people on that vibration now. When you're not loving yourself, you're bringing in people who want to take, who can, you know, drain on your resources, that type of thing, be it emotionally, financially. And then we've got worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So you're in an element of self-love. Your power is reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning. That is a power though. It could be a past life. It could be triggers from the past. It could be someone actually coming back from the past. How you deal with it is down to you. If, if, it's, if this person has caused you anguish, your power is to take control of that situation. Um, outside influences, flirt. Extend your light-hearted energies to others. So I'm kind of feeling like, your power is how you deal with the past, with the reconciliation. If you want to get back with someone from the past, I do see that there's an element here that someone could see you, the change in you, and then think, oh, they've changed. Or, you know, they seem to be doing really well for themselves. Maybe I'll uh, try and come back there. Um, I feel like you need to extend your light out energies out, outwards, away from that. Hopes and fears, you want a soulmate. Yes, this is a soulmate. 
you may have already had a dealing with a soulmate in the past, but we can have many soulmates because soulmates deliver lessons. And your outcome is passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. I just got karaoke in my head. <laughs> so maybe, you know, um, I use music a lot. You can tell what moods I'm in, especially with like what songs I listen to, what, you know, when I'm driving and things like that. Um, I think I do speak my emotions with music and I feel like um, a lot of people with Taurus placements do use music in that sense. Um, I don't know why I keep banging on about music, but uh, passion, you know, allow your soul to be passionate, allow yourself, allow passion to come towards you. So let's have a look at this and in the extended I'll be digging a lot deeper, going in my usual FBR mode. So I'll let go of control issues. Seven of Swords in reverse. Yeah. So there could have been sneaking behaviour, slanders, betrayal, deceit, cheating, that type of thing, lying. That's in reverse. So you're no longer allowing things to control you. You're letting go of those controlling aspects. So in the past that could have happened and maybe it's controlled how you you deal with like future love, how you're dealing with the dating scene now because maybe you're expecting everybody to do that. The past is in the past. Yeah, the three of swords. So there was there was a major like some kind of heartbreak in the past um, where someone was draining on your energy, but you do deserve love. You do. You deserve something new, something exciting. The page of wands. You deserve some fire in your belly. You could be going towards a fire sign, um, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, or you could have been dealing with one in the past. But you do deserve love. You deserve more passion. You deserve a fire of life, a passion for life. King of Pentacles in reverse. See, I feel like you've been dealing with, you could be dealing with Nerf sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, this is your energy, but I'm kind of not feeling it. I feel like you've been dealing with greedy, selfish people in the past. Um, that's why you need to keep an open mind because your soulmate is going to differ from your usual type and expectations. So maybe you're always expecting to bring in the same kind of thing and have the same kind of outcomes with people. Keep an open mind. Ace Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. But keep an open mind because you do deserve love. They want your cup to run off over. You deserve to be happy. Let your friends help you. So that's in the past. The Three of Wands in reverse. Feeling like you're stuck. Feeling like you're not going anywhere. Feeling like nothing's coming towards you. I feel like you've had like friends say to you, no, you do deserve this. You know, giving you the pet talks. Um, whilst at a time where you were feeling like at rock bottom or you felt like stabbed in the back. That type of thing. And I feel like you've had to have the support network around you to kind of get yourself back up so there's definitely been heartbreak in the past i'm going to delve into that more in the extended at present though on top of love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive we've got the six of pentacles 2022 is on a six vibration which is balance harmony love you know peace but the six pentacles is about gifts of money time and effort you know allowing people to spoil you in a sense or um, allowing people who are going to come in who want to gift you with their time and effort, you know, rather than just being the giver all the time. There's an equilibrium, you know, so you're resonating with people on that energy. Temperance card, Sagittarius, she could be dealing with Sagittarius, um, or about patience, being patient and bringing the moon in reverse. See, so under no illusions, be patient with yourself. Pisces energy there. Um, you're under no illusions anymore. I feel like you're kind of seeing it for what it is. Two of Cups in the future worth waiting for. This The new soulmate is worth waiting for. Five Wands in reverse. See, this person is not the same as the past. This person isn't all about drama and chaos and reactions. Your power is reconciliation of the world. Yeah, it's wrapping up that cycle. A person returns from your past. In order for you to wrap up that cycle, you might bump into them. There may be a message, that type of thing. But it's coming in for a reason. It's coming in to allow you to cut the cord. Because the world is about self-recognition, self-worth. It's pride. It's also wrapping up one cycle so then you can start a brand new part of your journey. Especially in romance. 
the outside influences flirt, you know, extend your light-hearted energies to others. Be open to new things. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone who's emotionally invested, emotionally stable and secure and wants to put in, yes, yeah, stability and security. They want the same things as you. So we've got the soulmate, the new soulmate. That's what you hope for. And that's, it looks like what you're getting. The death card, Scorpio energy. So there is a lot of water in the near future. Um, again, like an ending and a brand new beginning. Your love life's transforming. The start. Sound of Aquarius, because you deserve this. Blessings are starting to come in. After the past, a couple of dicks. The High Priestess, because you're using your intuition. There's information coming in. See, karma is on your side. Libra energy there. But the scales are being balanced. I feel like there's definitely an equal give and take energy coming in. Um, you could be dealing with a Libra, but I feel it's more like ending karmic contracts and starting soul contracts. There's pentacles, there's the contract. You know, something safe and secure. This is you in your element, in your earth element. Feeling safe and secure, feeling abundant in life. The Eight of Cups. See, all the cups that have spilled over in the past, all the emotional drama that they've spilled over, and it's like you're turning your back on that now because you're off onto a new adventure with somebody new. I do feel like someone could be coming back from the past in order for you to have the power to cut the cord. Yeah, the Nine of Swords in reverse. It's to end all that, that anxiety and the sleepless nights and the worry. Times where you felt like you needed a comfort blanket, like where you felt basically on your ass, like with no support or feeling lonely, depressed, that type of thing. That's ending because you deserve it to end. You deserve something good to come in. So you need to believe in that. See, the devil in reverse. You're cutting, you're cutting the toxic cords. You know, you're cutting out any toxic cords. Could have been dealing with Capricorn. Um, but I feel it's more the toxic cords. You're coming away from the devil. So it's, you know, you dance with the devil and they ready to tango with your soulmate. <laughs> so I'm going to be delving into the extenders. So if this is where I leave you, I'll leave you lots of love. And if I'm meeting you on the extenders, I'll see you over there now. Bye.